Hey guys, it's Kirsten. I'm going to do a quick video on adding confetti to a picture. Um, so I got this one from PNG Tree, which I'm, oh, my cat just jumped out of my lap, which I'm totally obsessed with. Uh, you can download two free images a day unless you purchase premium, which is what I did because I use like 50 a day. <laughs> anyway, so you download the PNG and then let's head into Photoshop. Okay, so this is the original image. I'm just going to get rid of that bright spot. Okay, so uh, I think the um, confetti here looks pretty realistic, but I guess they wanted more, I forget who even requested this, um, wanted more confetti added to the picture. So I just did file. You can do place embedded or placed linked, either one. I don't know how berserk we want to go here, but... I'm going to hit the shift key so I can spread it out like that and then hit OK. OK, so what you're going to do is you're going to double click on this layer. Now, actually, you know what? Let's rename it first. Um, sorry. I, I rename everything just so I know. Um, OK, so glitter. Now, what you're going to do is left double click on this and it brings up um, you know, stuff you can do, whatever. Okay, so color overlay. And then over here, you click the color and then you can sample one of the already pieces. Now this, because of the sun maybe, came out really kind of turquoise and I kind of like, actually maybe I'll sample dad's shirt to really tie it in. Well, let's get a lighter spot here. Oh, that's not good. oh that looks good. Okay. Um, I'm wondering, making them, um, hell no to that, bevel and emboss, it almost makes it look a little bit more three-dimensional. I kind of like that. Okay, uh, then you're going to hit OK. Now, you can see it's kind of a square line because the image was kind of a square line. So I'm going to make a layer mask. And which is white, and we're going to get a black brush. And we're just going to kind of get rid of the ones that have like a real squared edge, which isn't really much. A couple of these look kind of dumb. Um, I always, always, always paint on, well, not always, but I paint on people's faces just in case there's a random rogue piece of glitter that's going to be on someone. Let's get rid of their little logo. Do, do, do. I'm going to hold the shift key. Whoop, that's not. What I, oh, I was on the wrong layer. <laughs> oh, no. There we go. Click on the thing. Make it look like it's falling a little bit. Anyway, in a pinch, I think it's fine. Um, Realistic-ish enough, and the clients are never going to know that you did anything anyway. Oh, you know what? I'm seeing a little bit of smoke coming out of this. It just caught my eye. I actually have smoke brushes. It would be kind of neat to enhance that a little bit. So let's click on my brush and then we're going to hover over the picture and right click. All right, Ben Shirk. These are Ben Shirk's smoke and flower brushes. Okay. I interviewed Ben Shirk on my podcast. If you want to go check it out, he's adorable. I probably made it creepy because I'm probably twice his age, but that's okay. Okay. Oh, here's the smoke brush. Stop. Stop. Don't you hate when you scroll too fast and then it, oh, God. There we go. Let's go back. Go back. Okay. So we want the kind maybe like this. Whoa. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this little square with a plus sign, which just makes a random extra layer. And then we're going to click on the foreground color, and we want blue. So let's select – man, it's hard to get the, just the right color blue. All right, that looks good. That looks like matchy match. Okay, so we're going to just willy-nilly click. Then we're going to go to the Move tool. Let's 
Let's zoom in here. I like the smoke because the kid's like, yeah, you know. Okay, so we're going to put a layer mask on the smoke. Get a black brush. Just get a regular soft brush here. Opacity is at 100. And we're going to paint off the stuff that is not realistic. All right, because that makes the kid look like he's like loving it having a brother. Um, okay, there you go. I'm going to go make some lasagna. I'll talk to you later.